Hey guys, this is Jamie. So today I wanted to talk about religion, which is actually one of the topics um, you can pretty much entertain me at any time. I mean, obviously, if you don't come from a bigoted perspective. And uh, throughout my life, I've identified as more religious, less religious, and um, and absolutely with no affinity towards it. So I I had an interesting discussion with uh, my father-in-law, and uh, my partner's parents are very religious, and they're also very accepting of me, and they're accepting of me and my partner, which is really nice, and uh, it gives, and in general, my partner's family, the fact that they're very accepting and uh, we're not the only ones in a gay relationship. My partner has quite a few, actually, an enormous amount of lesbian cousins uh, on either side, so we were far from kind of the first to come out. But anyway, um, when it comes to religion, it's obviously because there's not just one religion and there's not just one interpretation of the Bible and different holy books and different opinions and uh, how people interpret things. We're going to have uh, different approaches to religion. But in general, I wanted to say that uh, something a bit different than religion is the opium of the masses. Uh, I still feel like these days it's very evident for me um, that the way people approach religion from classes is very different. So it's obvious that there is a bit class division, but I feel like when it comes to religion, it's also very notable. And uh, I have to start first by saying that I was, uh, well, not raised exactly, but I was baptized in the Russian Orthodox Church. And uh, then around my teenage years, I found a bit of affinity or more affinity and still do to the Catholic Church and in recent times I'm very not comfortable with the Russian Orthodox Church but um, with the Russian Orthodox Church my issue was always our patriarch which is riding Ferraris but at the same time, I understand that everyone hoards wealth and etc. But he just doesn't strike me as someone who should be in a holy position. And uh, specifically right now, when there is a leverage uh, in Russia, like there was a question of uh, abortion, and abortion has been legal since nineteen hundreds in, uh, well, pretty much since the Soviet Union and abortions were very common. So it's very bizarre to sort of see the world go backwards in these terms. And again, I do want to say that when it comes to abortions, I grew up with abortions being very accepted and normal and I, I believe that there is no reason to go back on the decision whether <clears throat> should abortion be allowed or not. So when I talk about specific terms like that, that's why I say like religion goes backwards. So when it comes to the Catholic Church, I still feel like with uh, Pope Francis, even if we have very interesting, um, like one day he'll accept gays, the other day he won't, then he'll have a trans man in the Vatican, the other day he'll do something else. He's very flip-floppy. But um, in general, I still feel like the Catholic Church sort of has this inclination to move forwards and uh, to still be relevant rather than imposing their religion on people in uh, a very restrictive way. 
<clears throat> unlike what the Russian Orthodox is doing. And uh, I always kind of felt this affinity towards the Catholic Church, and because it had a more emphasis on um, uh, apologizing people, which was something I really struggled in the past, and it was a way for me to understand and to heal from my own abuse from my uh, older sister. And uh, <clears throat> then my mom. And uh, religion played a, quite a key role in my life. Sort of, I wasn't always religious, but it was, the church was a place for me to go and uh, feel tranquility. And uh, that is something which was, which like I mentioned, my father-in-law, uh, it was interesting because in his opinion, and he's Catholic, uh, church is a place where you go and uh, he was telling me that uh, I should make Lucas my partner, uh, be more grateful and uh, show that to God. And that really made me wonder, because um, when it comes to people from upper classes or uh, in more stable financial positions, they're usually more grateful to God rather than asking for things. Because I grew up and it was literally like, there's a problem in the house, you go pray. Or like there's something which might come up bad you just go pray and um, so prayer to me was always a sort of um, you know like a thing to make sure that everything is well and God stays with you for this hard time and I feel like that is something which is very practice and orthodox Russian Orthodox, again, as I remember, and from what I remember. And uh, while I'm Catholic, there's sort of like a lot of forgiving. Well, when I would confess to certain sins, I did that once in for the Russian Orthodox, because I got told that maybe like I sinned too much, so uh, without them knowing that I'm trans or anything. Uh, so I just went to confess my sins, it was a very weird experience and uh, it was more like to forgive yourself further you need to do this and it wasn't a sort of God forgives you, like it was a God forgives you through the uh, for the priest at the time but it was still kind of weird and it was and it was a bit pushy. And in general, um, even though I don't have any contact with my mother right now, and uh, I, I doubt I will, because I just, I had a very difficult uh, relationship with her after I came out. Uh, she did say things to me that I am grateful for when it comes to religion. Uh, like I remember when I came out that I wasn't straight, and I wasn't, I just came out, it was more of a coming out that I'm questioning. And uh, I told her that I feel that I do not belong in church. And she took me to church. That summer I said that to her, but I was like in the UK at the time, then I went to visit her in Lithuania. And we sat in the church and she told me, um, it's not about how the priests interpret God's teachings. It's always about your relationship with God and religion and the church. As in the church, I mean the, the place itself. So, and then I also had the moment when I was to convert to Catholicism. And it was also uh, by my mom who went specifically to the Catholic church and asked uh, whether I could go from Russian Orthodox to Catholic. And they said that it's the same thing. I don't need a baptism and I'm welcome to pray and convert just like that. So ever since I kind of moved abroad or was away from Russian Orthodox churches, 
I do prefer to go to Catholic churches to pray. Sometimes I do the Catholic cross, sometimes the Orthodox. Um, but that's kind of stayed with me, the sort of religion, uh, tranquility, and sort of seeing it as something to calm yourself with. And I spoke about it with uh, my partner's uh, dad, and uh, he was like, you need to go there, you know, like to think when you're lost and stuff. And I'm like, I, I, did, I actually did that more often when we live next to a church. Right now it's, it's not across the road, so uh, how many frequencies? And with the wars, I, I haven't been in the church. I've probably been less than three times since the war started. And I haven't been feeling too religious. But um, I still found it very interesting, the sort of interpretation of trying to be grateful to God for what you're given. Because, and it also made me reflect on, on my things because I was abused, I, was, uh, I went through poverty, uh, I went through very difficult phases in my life, and uh, in Catholicism, you're more told to sort of thank God for it. And uh, I guess because when I was more involved uh, with a uh, Russian Orthodox way of thinking, it was more of asking for God for help. So right now it feels weird to see that interpretation. And... Um, also, growing up, uh, John Paul II was a massive influence in my household, sort of like as a saint, not, not as much specific teachings, but I did identify and uh, I found it uh, his way of forgiving very interesting and there was something that I still consider holy and it's something that I never managed to achieve in terms of forgiveness and a lot of people um, again like because my my in-laws were here of course we discussed a bunch of things and it was really interesting because they were like you need to forgive people to set you free and I'm still working with uh, moving on from terminating my relationship with my mother and uh, it was very, I had to sort of use the same pattern as I did with my sister. Uh, sure, my sister was a much bigger evil and uh, my sister has absolutely like, um, I had no good memories of her and uh, she was abusive to me throughout my entire life. So it wasn't a difficult, it wasn't as straight, it wasn't, with my mother, it wasn't as straightforward. And that's why it's more difficult when it's great about it. So in a way, I'm not taking the pattern of forgiving, I'm just accepting what happens and moving on. And as much as I try to sort of approach that forgiving or forgetting or moving on with them in my life, it's not something I could do. And um, I chose myself in the end. I think the one thing that I didn't think about was, for instance, during John Paul II's assassination, he was still approached uh, by the person who attempted to kill him to be forgiven. Well, I never really got that. So what, am, what was I supposed to forgive? So yeah. But yeah, when it comes to classes, it's, it's interesting because 
obviously due to class division you have more things to be grateful for lower classes you have you might go into sort of more rigid religion stances because you think if i'll do this i'll do xyz maybe god will give me more <clears throat> more strength more luck and etc while when it comes to upper classes or not as low classes it's literally being grateful for what you were given so it's quite interesting and in general religion is a fascinating subject factually and uh, it's it's very bizarre to see it being used very strictly right now in uh, in very hateful ways and uh, i know that specifically among the lgbt community there aren't that many religious people these days but i do want to say that i still think that your relationship with religion and god shouldn't be affected if you want it to be that way like i don't feel specifically inclined right now i'm not in a very religious place even though it was very interesting to discuss religion uh with my in-laws and uh yeah it was really funny that again um my partner was like a very strict Catholic uh, dad is approaching you to a gay trans man who's a massive leftist uh, and a commie factually <laughs> to make uh, his son more religious and I was like yeah that's that, that was really interesting but yeah and also I do not like any weaponizing of religion but it's been happening ever since we know the history of humanity and religion. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I've been rather dead because I've just been everywhere. Uh, tests, exams, tooth problems. And uh, yeah, just trying to get by by doing every task and studying as well. And internship. Thank you very much for watching. I want to say that I have been really, really taken back by the amount of love I've been getting. And uh, it's, it's very, very humbling. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate the followers as well. If you enjoyed this video, uh, feel free to spread it. Feel free to send it around, uh, raise awareness about my opinion on religion, I guess. Um, so please feel free, I'd appreciate it. Uh, feel free to leave a comment, feel free to press like, and if you enjoy this, feel free to subscribe. Um, if you want to buy, buy me a coffee, thank you. If not, just sharing this.